Behind closed doors, House leaders are debating how to deal with Delegate Joe Morrissey. Witnesses called in to testify on behalf of the defense have had some pretty harsh remarks to say about the former First Lady. In Charlottesville police now tell us that an overnight fire that killed two people might be suspicious. Now look at what we have. Several feet of snow that I'm standing in. And today we heard a very different depiction of Maureen McDonald. I saw him come into the courtroom this morning. He was hugging friends, families, so many supporters. Flags being waved, Woo! signs being shown. Couples are out here, religious groups are out here. Even if you have an SUV, these roads are very treacherous. A young boy is dead after an overnight fire in Greene County. Gay and lesbian couples have been streaming into the Richmond Circuit Court through these doors behind me. Good evening, Stephen Sharon. Bob McDonald apologized today both inside and outside the courtroom for his mistakes yet he still maintains his innocence he says that he did not violate his oath of office and that he'll be appealing this decision shortly leaving federal court in Richmond Tuesday former governor Bob McDonnell admitted defeat I always try to put the best interests of the people first as governor uh, but I have uh, failed at times and for that I am deeply deeply sorry Federal Judge James Spencer decided on a two-year prison sentence, but Bob McDonald says he did not violate his oath of office. His family and an army of allies say... We hope he'll be totally vindicated. And we're not giving up till he is. One after another, character witnesses testified that the former governor was of the highest integrity. Among them was former governor Doug Wilder. The courtroom erupted in applause when he challenged the prosecution's decision to give Johnny Williams full immunity. Absolutely, he was impactful. Williams is the businessman that McDonald and his wife Maureen were accused of providing political favors in return for thousands of dollars in gifts and loans. The judge called Williams a snake and a serpent, but said he felt that did not excuse McDonald's actions. Sometimes we see things differently, but we always maintain our respect for the system and the judge's sentence. Prosecutors wanted a 10-year prison sentence for his convictions, but bumped that request down to six and a half years during arguments. Outside court, the U.S. Attorney General's office said justice was served. Well, I, I think it, it sends the message that when the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Justice finds that there is public corruption, that we will prosecute the case vigorously, That's that we'll hilarious. investigate it. McDonald's defense team had pushed for community service instead of time behind bars. The leader of a global charity, Operation Blessing, testified that McDonald's skills and connections would be wasted behind bars when he could be making a difference in fighting poverty. Instead, McDonald faces prison time. The former governor thanked the judge for his leniency but said he plans to appeal. I have never, ever betrayed my sacred oath of office in any way while I have served as the governor of this great commonwealth. My Never claimed to be a perfect individual, and I'm not. It's a work in progress. With that, Delegate Joe Morrissey of Virginia's 74th District asked the voters to give him another chance. Never mind the widespread calls for him to bow out. The conviction last Friday on account of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. As soon as Morrissey revealed to the media that he would step down. I have a few moments ago tendered my resignation as a delegate. He puzzled the press by saying he'll seek the Democratic nomination in a January special election, just one day before the session is set to begin. Let's let the voters decide, um, and I am... Um uh, looking forward to their verdict. The Speaker of Virginia's House called this move, quote, deceitful, selfish, and disrespectful. Morrissey's own caucus has condemned him, but no law exists to keep Morrissey from running or from holding office. Even if Morrissey wins back his seat, the delegates could expel him with a two-thirds majority vote. That hasn't happened since 1876. We'll have to stay tuned to see who um, will be sitting in that seat when we uh, gavel in the session. With the holidays around the corner and a deadline ahead of Christmas, for nominations, there's uncertainty of what happens next. If Morrissey wins, he would serve in the legislature by day and report to jail by night. We're all part saints and sinners, so there are things that would have been done differently, but that is in the past. I have to look forward. The prosecution now says that the teenage girl involved is pregnant. Delegate Joe Morrissey would not answer the question when asked by the media if that child belongs to him. This is where animals come when they've reached the end of the road. 
or so it may seem. I've had people think I'm nuts. I totally flipped my lid over this, but he had it so rough from the beginning, he needed a fair shot in life. This five and a half month old calf came to Kitty Martin of Sela Ranch All Animal Rescue after losing both his back hooves to frostbite. She had called somebody to turn him into veal or for me to rescue him, whoever got there first got him. I got him, apparently. <laughs> After cheating death, Hero, as he's now known, also endured widespread infections, open wounds, constant bandage changes, and exposed bones. He's been through a lot. It's been a whirlwind trying to get him here. For Martin, today was like watching her baby Martin, walk too. for the first time. Look at that. I am beyond exuberant. Oh, yeah. Yes, Martin, go Hero! <laughs> Christmas anniversary, best days in your life, having kids that all rolled up into one. It's like the best things you could think of in your life all in one day. What some may call a mirror happened after an outpouring of altruism. People started hearing Hero's story and falling in love with his gentle nature. <laughs> Eventually, it touched this man in the business of restoring the ability to walk. Making somebody walk is a really satisfaction, um, and trying to help something that can't help themselves is also satisfying. Glenn Easton of Limb Care Prosthetics traveled all the way from New Jersey and donated Hero's new legs. Even though the generosity seen here may shock you. I just hope he's an inspiration to everybody like he's been to me. He's kept me focused and fighting for him. Every day Kitty's going to have to work with him. She's the real hero here. Good evening. I'm Alana Austin. Charlottesville police now tell us that an overnight fire that killed two people might be suspicious. The fire started around midnight. Now, despite concerns that parts of the Rolling Stone article do not hold water, students and advocates still hope to take on a supposed rape culture. NBC 29's Jenna Dagenhart is live on grounds with more. Jenna, and we remain committed to being leaders in the campaign for long-term change. And tonight, we also have reaction from a UVA professor. This comes just two weeks after hundreds of professors and graduate students marched on the Beta Bridge near grounds to protest sexual violence. Parents in Central Virginia are taking advantage of some great deals on Christmas gifts for their little ones. The Schoolhouse Thrift Shop posted its 23rd annual St. Nicholas toy sale today. The shop is selling new and gently used toys donated from local Episcopal churches and community members. Protesters continue to express their unrest about grand juries not indicting police officers in deaths in Ferguson, Missouri and New York. More than 30 people were arrested in North Carolina or even in Buffalo. I mean, that oh, wouldn't yeah, have that been was fun. Amazing. We hope you have a great evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight and stay safe out there.